Yeah, hey, it's uh, Stuart Harris here from stuartharris.net and today's topic I want to talk about fears because uh, fears are something that affect us all and uh, as you're aware to get to any success mindset uh, we, we do have to address the fears that we encounter along the way. Now fears manifest in a number of different ways and uh, I like to categorize these into primarily the inner game fears and the outer game fears and for the purpose of this video today, I'm, I'm talking about our inner game. Um, I'd like to address that and uh, the acronym that I want to use, there's many acronyms for fear, but the one I want to use today is the acronym uh, false expectations appearing real. And uh, I think this is a very apt acronym because uh, in our mind, what we tend to do is to create um, lots of uh, reasonings, shall I say, that uh, have not eventuated and may seem real to us, or they may seem like there is a possibility that that's going to happen, but they in fact never really do happen. And uh, so I think this is a very good acronym, and that's false expectations appearing real. Now, how do we deal with false expectations appearing real? Number one, the first step is we have to dig down and find our experiential cause of that fear. So something has happened in our past or in our experiences that caused us to have a fear today. We've got to dig down. So you need to find a quiet space and give yourself plenty of time and really investigate what happened way back when. You've got to go back, find that cause, and because our mind does some tricky things with us, what I want you to do then is once you think you've found the cause, I want you to find the cause of the cause. Because quite often uh, we've hidden this in some subtle deliberations in our mindset, and we won't let that materialize. It will take you some time. I want you to get to them. When you get to them, you are almost home and host because it's really finding that experience in our past it's going to help you to really take control of that fear right now and well into your future. Take the time to do that. The second step is to implement what I call the RAD solution process. This is rationalize, abate, and dismiss. And in that process, what we want to do is to take that cause, once we've found it, or the experience, and take an objective rationalization. What happened? Who was involved? Um, you know, uh, what, who could have been involved? Was it your fault? Was something else happening that was outside your control? Uh, just really assess it, really rationalize it, and uh, put it into perspective. And then the next thing is we want to abate it. So we want to drop it down and minimize its effect on us because uh, now that you've found the cause and you've gone through somewhat of a rationalization process, should already start to feel like it's you know not really a major anymore and I want you to continue that process and put it into effect like as if it's a, a, a window in a computer screen that's diminishing and it's going to minimize right to nothing. So if you can visualize that happening that's going to diminish away, minimize away and become essentially nothing. Now the third step in this process is very simple is to take action so implement the RAD process it may take you two three or four times to really have a solid effect but keep doing that until you feel that 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 problem or that cause has really become a distant very small memory and of course the second step in action is to attack your goals and this is where we work on our fear process in our outer game this is part of my second video on this topic. Uh, you should find a link to this very shortly on, on, this, um, on this video, so that will materialize very soon. And uh, look, I'm Stuart Harris from Attainment Mindset. Hopefully I've done something here today that's going to help you to deal with your fears going forward. Have a look at the next video, and I'll see you there.